very optimistic um, about the future and certainly enthusiastic about the opportunity we have to associate within the Big 12. Speaking of 12, after 12 years, the University of Utah leaving the Pac-12 conference. Now for the Big 12. Thanks for joining us for 2 News at 5. I'm Heidi Hatch. I'm Mark Cabell. The university holding a news conference today discussing the move and what all that entails. We have team coverage for you tonight. Emma Riley was at the event today breaking down the university's reasoning for the conference switch. First, though, Brian Schnee spoke with a longtime Utah athletic booster about the move to the Big 12 and what it all means. Well, the excitement is certainly there, especially for those closely connected with the Utah Athletic Department. According to Athletic Director Mark Harlan, the university is at an all-time record high for donors to the Athletic Department. I spoke with an athletics booster today. He's been a donor on and off for about two decades. He's excited about the new opponents, the new opportunities, but also for the ability to build up that in-state rivalry with the folks in Provo. The rivalry, like whether you like it or not, it's it's back, and uh, it's it's just there, right? Most stressful game, I think, for BYU and, and Utah fans there is. Well, we'll go in depth on this tonight. David James will join me live in a few minutes on 2 News Live. Emma Riley will be there as well. Stream us at 5.30, KUTV.com, the 2 News mobile app, Facebook, YouTube. We're also on your television tonight by using the News On and Stir apps. We'll see you at 5.30. Mark? Brian, thanks. You may have gotten that streaming push alert on your phone today. We sent it out after the university's news conference earlier. And uh, we've been streaming news updates like this for you on your mobile devices. All you have to do to get that instant access to information is download the 2 News mobile app, and it is free to download. I know a lot of fans excited about the rivalry games again. And continuing our team coverage, some Utah fans were not surprised the school is going to leave the Pac-12. Yeah, University President Taylor Randall and Director of Athletics Mark Harlan speaking today how the news conference will benefit the University of Utah. KUT's, KUTV's Emma Riley joining us live from the Eccles State, Rice Eccles Stadium today. Emma, what do fans think about the university jumping ship from the Pac-12 to the Big 12? Well, a Utes fan I spoke to earlier was not disappointed in the announcement. He said he's glad they'll be back in the same conference as BYU. I think it's really good. Uh, a lot of other teams have been leaving the Pac-12, so it'll be good to be like playing with uh, bigger teams. Jack Cannon is a Utes fan and a future student. He's looking forward to seeing the familiar rivalry game between BYU and Utah. I think it'll be awesome. I mean, it's one of the biggest like rivalries in college football, so it'll be good to have that back. Besides the rivalries that come with being in a new conference, the move will bring in more revenue for the athletic and academic programs. University of Utah President Taylor Randall says being in the Big 12, their program will have more visibility with media providers like Fox, ESPN, and streaming services. What I like about this, the, the group of uh, universities in this league is they all are striving to get better, and you can see them bringing resources to bear to do that. I wouldn't bet against the Big 12. That's what makes us so excited to be there. University of Utah Athletic Director Mark Harlan says they are grateful for how the Pac-12 has changed the university in the last 12 years. I saw the rise of Utah uh, academically and certainly athletically. It's been a special, special ride, and we, we are so excited about this last lap. And President Randall says they spent the last year trying to keep the Pac-12 conference together, but it was the dynamics between the media outlets and college sports that ultimately led to their decision to join the Big 12. Reporting live in Salt Lake City, Emma Riley, KUTV, 2 News.